Bilu Rani Talukdar is in her 40s. A few years back, she started to shoulder the financial responsibility of her family. Since childhood, cooking has been her favorite pastime, but in the struggle to get by, her hobby has turned into her profession. She now runs a small restaurant in the marketplace of a village. Bilu lives in a remote village in the Borishal district of South Bangladesh. There is no electricity here yet and the people lack all modern amenities. Out of necessity, the women are taking action. Bilu's day starts in the early morning. She begins the day's activities while it is still dark. Her whole life centers around her small restaurant business. Somehow I looked after my family with the small income my husband got from cultivating land. But when he became ill, the whole family became helpless. The money stopped coming in and it became difficult to manage the food, let alone the education of our children. At the time, everybody advised me to start some sort of business. One day I sold some handmade bread in a local village market. I found that I was able to make a good profit. That day I was able to buy one and a half kilos of rice with the money. That was the beginning. Women constitute almost 47% of the total population of Bangladesh. Half of them live in villages. Most depend on their husbands, in contrast to their more independent urban sisters. But during the last 10 to 15 years, the picture has changed. Women have taken the initiative in changing their own situation in spite of their limited education and their illiteracy. They are becoming independent with the help of different types of microcredit schemes and vocational training provided by the government and other organizations. Bilu is one of them. She started her struggle hoping for economic emancipation. Now, Bilu has stepped into a new way of life. I started selling food in the market, but my capital was small. I had no education and didn't have any idea about business. Later on, I had some training and learned how to deal with customers, how to provide facilities for them and how to make a profit from my business. Bilu's husband gave her the greatest support in her struggle to change their economic situation. With every step Bilu took, her husband Jagunath Talukdar motivated her. At the beginning, many people made negative remarks. My relatives also made comments because I allowed my wife to start a business in the village market. But I didn't see any problem because she was working for her own family. Now she is earning well and has shouldered the responsibility of the whole family. I help her out and do as much as I can for her. Bilu is now a full-fledged businesswoman. Her restaurant is open throughout the day, serving breakfast as well as lunch. Now I feel very good. I live happily with my husband and children and I've managed to buy some land. I can now bring up and educate my children properly. I am able to take decisions that will improve things for the family. Many women have now ventured from their homes, drawing inspiration from Bilu. They have found a way of earning extra money by getting training and taking out small loans. They have learned that economic freedom is their personal freedom. There are women like Bilu throughout Bangladesh. They are now becoming aware of their own rights. The women of Bangladesh have learned how to make progress whilst working side by side with men. They are playing a significant role in the economy of the country. All this is perhaps an indication of the increase in women's empowerment. <laughs>